Hey guys, so for today's video I have a makeup tutorial. I'm actually really excited for this look because it is another fall makeup tutorial, but I didn't want to do um, the fall, anything like the other fall looks that I've been doing, you know, the oranges, the reds on the eyes. I wanted to do something pretty classic and really easy and simple. Literally, I'm only using like three shadows. So it's super simple, super easy. So I created this really nice like soft cut crease with a really thin kind of cat eye liner. I really wanted to give that cat eye effect to my eyes. So I went ahead and did that with the shape of the shadow and also the shape of the wing liner. I also smoked out my lower lash line a lot, which is kind of the staple part of this look. It just makes it super smoky and really sultry looking. But the lip is the part that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's a beautiful, beautiful, rich kind of brick nude. I love this color for fall because it's still it still falls in the nude family, so it's definitely wearable, but it's super rich and different. It definitely has this strong kind of brick red undertone. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you were interested in checking out how I got this fall makeup look, then make sure to keep on watching. So of course, we're going to start off with some primer. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, one of my favorite ones. And then we're going to move on to some foundation. So I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and also a little bit of the Estee Lauder Double Wear just because the MAC one was a tad bit too light for me. I'm using NC37 and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Honey Bronze 4W1. So I'm going ahead and mixing that on the skin and blending it out with a beauty blender. So now for concealer, I'm taking light medium from Tarte and I'm going to go ahead and highlight and conceal the under eye area. Also down the center of the face, so you guys know the drill when it comes to this part and blending it out with the damp beauty blender. So to brighten and set the under eye concealer, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Contour Palette and just take that highlight shade right there and go ahead and set it. So to set the rest of the face, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder. I love this foundation powder. It's one of my favorites and I haven't used it in a long time, so I figured I'd pull it out for today's tutorial. So now we're going to go ahead and bronze up the skin and I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. It's really beautiful. It has this very rich kind of warm undertone. It has a slight luminosity to it. So if you're not about that, then you might not like it. But I like how it just gives me a little bit of this slight J-Lo glow. I really like it. So now I'm taking that same contour palette when went wild. I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheeks and also my nose a little bit. So I'm going to take this Urban Decay Afterglow blush in the shade Video. It's a really nice nude that has a nice kind of natural pink tone to it. And now I'm going to take this new highlighter by Makeup Forever. This is their Pro Fusion Highlighter in 02 Golden. It's beautiful. It's like the perfect pale gold shade. It's really, really nice. So brows are done and eyes are primed. We're going to move on to eyeshadow. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Textured Palette Rose Gold Edition. And I'm going to take this beautiful shade Sandalwood. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this into the crease. And what I'm going to do is kind of create this shape that you see me doing here. Where I'm kind of creating a little bit of this wing with my shadow. Today's look is all about the wing. We're going to be creating like a lot of different wings. So create a wing with your eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this shadow here. It's just a pale kind of light yellow white shade and I'm going to map out my lid and again emphasize that kind of wing shape towards the tail of my brow. So I'm going to take this beautiful shade Sandalwood again and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. At first I was just going to do a regular smoke in of the lower lash but then I figured let's make it super dark so I went ahead and took Coco. It's a really beautiful kind of rich brown but it doesn't have too much warmth in it so it's really nice because it's kind of versatile. So I went ahead and smoked that out but then I figured let's kind of play up that wing shape that we did on the top lid area and do like a parallel bottom wing on the lower lash as well as you can see like I'm doing here so it gave this a really cool effect it also made my eyes look super like cat eye-esque and super sultry and really sexy looking so i really really love um kind of playing up this shape especially for fall time 
So I'm going ahead and adding some wing liner, of course. And again, I'm just kind of emphasizing that bottom shadow liner. And with the wing liner, I played up the thin cat eye long kind of shape. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara because we are going to be applying some lashes. I will go ahead and leave below the ones that I used. So I am going to take a little bit of that same highlighter and pop it on the inner corner. But I just figured I needed a really something to really pop. So I went ahead and took L'Oreal Time Resist White, one of my favorite white inner corner shades. And as you can see, it really pops. But I went ahead and took it and brought it underneath the lower lash line and kind of just brought it to the uh, front there. And it just gave a really cool effect. So these are the lashes that I went ahead and popped on. Moving on to the lips, we're gonna use a bunch of different lippies together and mix them you guys know me i'm a mixer i mix like seven different lip colors all the time so this is kylie cosmetics lip liner in Kristen, and it's a really beautiful kind of muted red so you can really play it up and create like this red based nude with it it's really nice so i'm gonna go ahead line my lips and also fill them in with this lip liner So taking Bite Beauty lipstick in Chai, I went ahead and popped that on on top. It just really gave it a nice kind of muted nude tone to it. I did feel like the lip needed a little bit more brown in it. So I went ahead and took Kylie Ginger. And as you can see now, it looks a little bit more brown and it just turned out to be a really nice kind of red based brown nude. I really hope you guys enjoyed and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.